Okay, boys and girls, welcome back. Red Mist in the house once again. How you doing? I hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing great. And we, my friends, are playing some more WWE Supercard. Now, it's been a hot minute since I've made a video. And I want to go ahead and show you what's been going on. Now, as you guys know, I made the video when Kurt Angle first hit or SummerSlam uh, 17 first hit. We do have... The team event, which is for Enzo Amore, going to be starting up in 9 hours and 45 minutes. But I'm going to show you what has been going on. And then I'm going to show you a couple of um, super or one super cool little trick that I managed to work out. So this will help you win your money in the banks. Now, as you can see, we've got both Kurt Angles. They are almost being fully leveled up. So what the second Kurt Angle is still being proed up, ready to go. Now, the reason why I haven't proed these guys yet is because of the fact that I'm purposely waiting for just a little bit longer because I'm doing something. And you're going to see in just a second what I'm doing. Now, you can see I did manage to go and get the Bobby Roode. And I've also managed to grind out the 22,800 contracts in order to buy the first Roman Reigns. Now... If some of you are going to be saying, well, why did you buy Roman Reigns instead of Brock Lesnar? Because Brock Lesnar is better than Roman Reigns. Now, the two of them are basically exactly the same. Brock Lesnar wins on power and speed, but Roman Reigns wins on uh, toughness and charisma. Now, the reason why I've decided to pick Roman Reigns over Brock Lesnar is because Roman Reigns has better three stats potential than what Brock Lesnar does. He has extremely high power, whereas Roman Reigns' power is a little bit lower. But because his power is a little bit lower, his uh, overall stats in power, toughness, and charisma work out to be a better tag team card than what it does with Brock Lesnar, i.e. Uh, Roman Reigns and Kurt Angle make a much better tag team than what Roman uh, than what Brock Lesnar and Kurt Angle would so therefore Roman Reigns is the better option now that being said you can see as we go through I've managed to pull a Matt Hardy um, we managed to get the Kofi Kingston off for of the board our Bray Wyatt I actually got from a team battleground reward um, Jinder you know was the first event card uh, Tazawa was the card just a little while ago. Uh, Hindo, is that how you say his name? I don't know. Um, we got from the RTG. Uh, was it the RTG? That might have been the ring domination. Big Cass was the RTG. And we went and got a Tyler Bate, who was actually a board reset uh, earlier on today, in fact. So that's pretty cool. So we're looking quite strong on our SummerSlam 17 cards if i go over here and i show you um you can see if we scroll down just a little bit more we have a total of 12 SummerSlam cards now this being said guys i'm going to show you the number one trick in order to win your money in the bank now i'm going to show you this like quite simply if i go and auto fill you're going to be able to see that my team's deck is going to be all wrestlemania 33 cards um pretty much all the top end of the 33 tier with three event cards so that's quite cool if i go ahead and play a game you're gonna see because all 15 cards are WrestleMania 33 Pros, I will face nothing but WrestleMania 33 Pros. So, the worst card I will face will be a WrestleMania 33 Pro. The best card I'm going to face is a WrestleMania 33 Pro. Because of the way that that is just how the game works. So, as I've always turned around and said, always downgrade your team instead of upgrading your team. Now, what I mean by that is my Kurt Angle SummerSlam 17 event card, if I went and proed him and put him in my Money in the Bank card, because the best card in my team is a SummerSlam 17 Pro, that will mean that these ladder uh, matches, um, so for example, that Miz could be a WrestleMania, uh, sorry, a, a SummerSlam 17 Pro, and I would have to fight it with WrestleMania 33s. So it makes life a little bit more difficult. 
um, your best bet is to go with all 15 cards of the exact same tier. If you can't use the same tier, always go down a tier. Never go up. If you go up, your matches will be harder and you'll have to fight whatever the best card is in your team. So, for example, if you have 14 WrestleMania 33 cards and one SummerSlam 17 Pro card, you will have to fight SummerSlam 17 Pros. If you go ahead and have 14 um, WrestleMania cards, uh, what, what do we need here? Which would be the best option? I would say this is going to be the best option. Um, so if you have like 14 WrestleMania 33 cards and then one Ultimate Pro, that's not going to hurt your team too much because of the fact that your Ultimate Pro is lower than the majority of your cards. So always make sure that you have the same amount of cards. And I'm going to show you a super good trick just after this fight because if you're watching this fight you're gonna see that we're fighting wrestlemanias for wrestlemanias and the trick that i'm gonna show you is gonna be 100 percent guaranteed victory on pretty much every single game you have unless you don't have a balanced deck now if you don't have a balanced deck this will cause you problems. Now you're going to see that my deck isn't completely balanced because I haven't got all Wrestle uh, SummerSlam 17 cards. I'm going to have to put in a couple of uh, Res uh, WrestleMania 33 cards, which means that the overall my team is slightly imbalanced, but it still works perfectly. So you can see here as well that at the moment I've got three event pros because of these pros are guaranteed wins. If you look at the stats, on average, an event card is about, I think, two to four thousand stats higher than the ca uh, normal counterpart. So you can see here, like if you look at Cena and Cena, the event card is on average about four thousand stats to 3,000 stats higher than the other normal Cena card. So that being said, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our WrestleMania tier. Now, this is where having event cards not proed comes in perfect. Now, you can do this strategy from common all the way up to SummerSlam 17. Obviously, if you're in the lower tiers, then you can't get the event cards you would just count you would just replace these event cards with fusion cards so if you was in elite tier you would use the elite fusion chamber cards and not pro them you would keep them as base cards so you can see here that every single card that i'm putting in here is just pretty much standard they're all normal non proed they're just base cards before they're going to get their pro capabilities and you can see that they're all looking pretty good i've got them all leveled up um not all of them have played their games um like the top ones that i've had for all have played their games but you can see here the other ones haven't got their stuff yet um well some of them do um but like such as tozawa he still needs a few games there um, my Bobby Roode, he still needs games. Um, so you can see that we're still looking for leveling up people's games. So they're not the best they can be just yet. Um, but we're still looking very, very strong. Um, and then our final two cards. So you can see here that we've got all of our cards in right now. But we have three cards. So as I've said before... Because of the fact that those WrestleMania 33 cards are proed, that would mean that the the best card that I would have to fight on the board would be a WrestleMania 33 Pro. Now, the SummerSlam 17 base cards cannot beat those cards. So, let's look at the board and let's put in a card that those cards can beat quite easily. So, we're going to have to go into our WrestleMania 33s and we're going to go down and we're going to replace them with base wrestlemania cards so as you can see here the booker t is going to fit in there quite nicely um that we got from our um uh from the uh event not long ago the flashback ring domination 
um, or the um, throwback, I should say, not flashback. Um, so if you was able to get the event cards, I think that one was for Cena, I think. So if you was able to get those cards, then great. So as you can see here, now we've replaced the WrestleMania 33 Pros with base WrestleMania 33 cards. Now, this is hugely important. Even if you can have all 15 cards as SummerSlam 17 cards, always make one card lower tier so booker t and seth rollins might become SummerSlam 17 cards but finn balor will always stay that tier lower now the reason why you always do this is because this is the trick to the success now as you get the event cards or the fusion cards then obviously replace them in because if you look at the kurt angle the bobby Roode, or the uh, roman reigns on average they are three to four, even sometimes more, higher than some of the other stats. So you can see here that, uh, for example, Matt Hardy on the middle left, he is main stat in charisma. He is 39,372 in charisma, whereas Kurt Angle is 41,818. So a good 2,000 stats higher, which is pretty good. It means that he's going to win because even if you look at the proc rate, it's only 1,500 or 1,400. And because it is the uh, money in the bank, that's only going to be 1,000 for the proc on the enemy team. And this is the key to the success. The more event cards or fusion cards that you can get to replace your cards, the, more e the easier the match is going to be. So we're going to switch out this Mr. McMahon as well. Um, and we're going to put back in the uh, sherry right here so you can see here now if you remember rightly when i done this fight just before i played wrestlemania 33 cards with wrestlemania 33 cards now i'm gonna be fighting ultimate cards with base SummerSlam 17 cards so on average i'm gonna have a huge amount of success so you can see here look at this guys the five point matches Dolph Ziggler is an ultimate pro at between 29 to 31,000 in stats and my um wrestle uh, my SummerSlam base 17 cards on average are 6,000 to 9,000 better in stats you don't even need to think about what you're playing you just click a card and say thank you very much for your five point contract because i'm gonna take that bad boy home now the only time this does get difficult really is as you can see i've got two wrestlemania cards so sometimes that could be a little bit difficult but then you just work around it so as you can see here you purposely wait with those cards don't use them at the very very beginning you purposely wait until near the end of the tier because you'll find that once you clear out these first two rows your third second and third row as you can see here more SummerSlam 17 cards are coming in so more cards of the same tier that you're using will come into the fight but as you can see, we've still got that um, Y2J right there. So that's an easy win. So we're not going to have to worry about that whatsoever. Now, you're going to see I've got my Bobby Roode, which is a guaranteed victory. But I have to fight a WrestleMania, a SummerSlam 17 card. But that's why we have two WrestleMania cards. If you get lucky and you get all SummerSlam cards or whatever your top tier might be, whether it's Ultimate or elite legendary hell even if it is common like whatever your top tier is just make sure you use those cards first and keep your two lowest cards for when you fight this match here because then as you can see here again it is a hundred percent win because two wrestlemania 33 cards will beat the SummerSlam 17 card and now we have our event card right here which is a guaranteed win um maybe not a guaranteed win if you're not fully leveled up like as a, as you all of my cards are fully trained up and i'm looking at getting their games played once their games are played 
um, obviously it will be a lot more successful because you get like a bonus. I think the event cards get something like a bonus 1000 stats um, when they play their games um, on their stats. So that's pretty good. Like Bobby Roode will be more like 41 something hundred in power rather than having the uh, 40,800. Um, so as you can see there, a nice easy run to the very top of the thing, giving me 50 contracts. We're able to do this. If you don't know about the uh, the uh, watching the adverts, um, I can show you on Android very, very quickly. You can watch an advert and you can get a free bout. When these run out, you can pretty much come out of this. You can go into your Google settings and you can go to advertisements and you've got reset ad ID at the very, very top. Just click that on a couple of times and you can see at the very bottom your ad ID. You can see it starts in 801E9. Just hit that again and you can see it is now 6FC18. Um, go ahead, but you must make sure that you close Supercard when you do that. So you've got to click out of Supercard for that to work. Then you reset your adverts. Go back into Supercard and you can watch the adverts. Now, I'm going to watch a quick advert. So I'm going to pause the video here and I'm going to show you one more game. Okay, and we're back. So as you can see here, the advert is finished. We click out of that bad boy and it's going to come up saying, well, you've watched an advert, you get a free bout, happy days. So you can watch those adverts, keep resetting your stuff, and go back in and play another game. Now, obviously, this depends on how many adverts you watch, depends on how many games you play. All goes down to how many contracts you can grind out in a day, in a week, in a month, in a year, whatever it may be. But as you can see, once again, we've got two wrestlemania 33 cards so we're going to save those bad boys we've got this uh, roman reigns so we're going to save him until the top and we're going to use our uh our standard SummerSlam 17 cards so again we're fighting the SummerSlam uh 17s against ultimate cards this is a no-brainer it's a hundred percent win as you can see here the low stat in power is 36,000. The top stat in speed is like 39,000. Whereas Rusev, his top stat is 31,000. You cannot lose that fight. It is physically impossible. So the same stats here. Like, look at this. Why would you attack Cesaro for a five-point contract when you could attack the ultimate Seth Rollins for a five-point contract again no brainer just go for the Seth Rollins get that easy five-point contract victory and you keep doing this until you have to fight the um the ultimate cards so again like look at this two ultimate cards but there's the uh sorry there's two SummerSlam cards but then you've got the ultimate uh Nakamura there so again, you just use your SummerSlam 17 card to take out the Nakamura. He's propped at 32,000 stats, which is nowhere near enough to compete with the 36,000 stats of the Big Cass, or I think his speed is quite low. So again, now we get to the very top of the tier, you're pretty much going to have to face whatever your best cards are in your deck. So in this case, SummerSlam 17 cards, same principle. You've got your two Wrestle, uh, WrestleMania 33 cards that will 100% win. Now, you're not always going to get Wrestle, your WrestleMania 33 cards. Sometimes you'll get lucky and you might you get all of your event cards or your fusion cards, whatever you're using. Um, you might get all of the top tier cards, but you do have that possibility of getting those lower level cards. So make sure that those lower level cards are leveled up excuse me because otherwise you're not going to win those fights you have to make sure they're leveled up so that they can win those fights if you do happen to need to fall back on them and as you can see again very very quickly getting up to the top we're going to use our roman reigns which again is a hundred percent guaranteed victory still two thousand higher on basis stats because he's an event card and that is the key to getting super quick, super fast, like, I don't know, like, Flash Gordon kind of um, money in the bank victories, like, as you can see, that was 100 contracts 
with ease. I didn't even break a sweat. Super, super easy. Take full advantage of it because of the fact that as you grind through the money in the bank, as you can see here, we still have our second Brock Lesnar, uh, sorry, our second Roman Reigns to get because we've only got one of them. Um, and we also have our uh, two Brock Lesnar's to get because of the fact that we haven't haven't got here. So when I get those three cards, like you're talking even more money because if we look at the deck, just think if I replace three of these cards, that's going to give me another three event cards. The RTG at the end of the week giving me a second Bobby Roode. That's going to be eight event cards whereas if i pro them i'm only going to have four event cards so just bear that in mind think wisely when you're playing these games and you will get those top contracts now obviously if you do this in lower tiers you might have to grind out four point contracts you might not be able to grind out the five point contracts um i think five point contracts start at i think think summer slam or it might be hardened tier so you might have to try and get your bar like as you can see my bar is wrestlemania 33 plus you might need to get that bar into like hardened in order to get the five point contracts or something but i'm not 100 percent sure um you guys can tell me in the comments down below but try this out it will 100 percent get you more contracts and as i say if you don't have the event cards use whatever tier you're in on fusion cards don't make them a pro just go ahead and get them as a base card now obviously fusion cards take a little while to get but it's well well worth it because you can grind out those contracts and you can get the event cards of roman reigns brock lesnar or in 24 days you can save up all of the contracts you've earned and then get whoever the brand new cards are when the contracts reset in 24 days but that's going to be it from me today guys i really hope that you've enjoyed this video i really hope that it works out quite well for you tell me in the comments down below how much this has improved your gameplay whether you're going to do it whether you're not going to do it whether you think it's worth it i don't know you guys tell me but that's going to be it for the video today that like yeah i don't know what else to say peace on the streets